Today I thought I'd show you how to make four different slow cooker recipes that are really, really easy to make. They're really delicious. They're just what you want to eat this time of year when it's a little bit chilly um, and the smell just is so nice all day because it's cooking like most of the day. Um, and they're also all low FODMAP slash I will show you how to make them all super low FODMAP. Um, and yeah, these dishes are, I'm making a beef bourguignon, which, oh my God, it's like the best, yummiest beef stew of them all. That classic slow cooker meal, chili con carne, really, really easy to make in a slow cooker. Um, also made something really delicious this week, pulled turkey. It's like pulled pork, but it's pulled turkey. It's so nice. And we made it into like pulled turkey tacos. Oh my God, so good. And also another absolute slow cooker favorite, butter chicken. So yeah, all of those are gonna be in this video. And also you'll find lots of recipes that are similar to this in my book, which is available to pre-order now. It's called How To Make Anything Gluten-Free. I'll link it below in case you wanna check it out and give it a little pre-order. I'd really, really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, enough of that. Let's just get on with cooking these delicious, amazing, epic, yummy, slow cooker meals. So firstly, I made my butter chicken curry, which is amazing. And here is what you'll need. So firstly, chicken. So I'm using some chicken thighs. They have got the skins on and the bone. You could definitely use ones that don't, that are like skinned and boneless, but these are really good value and I think the bone just gives it lots and lots of flavor. Um, I've got some lactose-free yogurt here, just plain yogurt, plain Greek yogurt actually. I've got some coconut milk. I've got a red pepper, just cause I felt like I should put some sort of veg in it. Then I've got some double concentrate tomato puree. I've got some low FODMAP chili powder always make sure it's low format because definitely not all of them are um, i've got some garlic infused oil i have got just some pepper also some salt but it's not here um, i've got some curry powder now this korma curry powder is low format from sainsbury's as you can see i've got two here because this one's almost empty and then i've just got a few different spices so i've got some turmeric i've got some garam masala another one that you need to remember check that it is low format doesn't have any garlic or onion in because sometimes it does um, and then I have got some ground ginger. So firstly, I added some oil to my pan and then I popped in my chicken thighs and seared them, added my red pepper and just cooked that down a little bit. Then I wanted to make my sauce, so I added all my spices like my ginger, garam masala, curry powder, turmeric, all things like that, to a pan with some salt and pepper, my sugar, mixed it all together. Then I added my tomato puree and mixed that all in, kind of, and then added my coconut milk and my yogurt, mixed it in till it was nice and smooth. And then I put my pan onto the slow cooker, poured the sauce in and mixed it all up, put the lid on and turned it on and let it do its thing. And it was absolutely amazing. The chicken literally fell off the bone. I served it up with homemade naan breads, some rice, and there you go. It was epic. Our next slow cooker dinner of the week was beef burgundy on. And here is what you'll need. Firstly, I've got some slow cooked diced beef. I've got some streaky bacon, it's smoked this one, got some tomato puree, carrots, parsnips, I've got a stock cube, this is a ham stock cube, no onion or garlic in this, very nice this one, <laughs> I mean a stock cube is it really nice but you know, tastes good, got some red wine, got some uh, gluten free plain flour, I've got some thyme, bay leaves and obviously for me, you know my favourite ingredient, um, garlic infused oil. So that is literally all you'll need. So firstly, I peeled my veg and chopped them into decent sized chunks, put them to one side and then chopped all my bacon up for later. Then I put some oil into my pan and seared my beef until it was all nicely colored, added some red wine and then cooked this down until I couldn't really smell the red wine anymore. Added a little bit of water and a stock cube, just sprinkled that all in, added a bay leaf and some fresh thyme and then added some tomato puree and then I put in all those chopped up veg and mixed that all in. Added a little bit more water because there just wasn't enough in there. Sprinkled in some salt and then added a little bit of corn flour because that just kind of helps thicken it all up. And then just mixed it in so it was nicely combined. I popped it on top of the slow cooker, turned it on and yeah, let it do its magic. And then what I needed to do was I took the lid off and added my cooked bacon. I'd already cooked this on the hob. Mix that all in because it just gives it so much more flavour and then I added a tiny bit more corn flour because I just felt it needed to be thickened a little bit more and then served it up with mashed potato and it was great. Next up is one of my absolute favourites, chilli con carne and here is what you'll need. Let's start with the meat. So I've got some beef mince here and then veg wise I have got a courgette and I've got a red pepper. Then let's go to the herbs and spices or whatever. We've got oregano, 
we have got some bay leaves. These are optional, don't always put them in, but if you got them, put them in. Um, then we've got some cumin, we've got some smoked paprika. I really like smoked paprika over any other type. I just think it tastes better. Then we've got some chili flakes and some chili puree. Then I have got some tomato puree here. Um, got some tin tomatoes. Then I have got some kidney beans here. Now, if you're low FODMAP, do not put these in. Don't put these in at all. Well, I mean, if you've tested and you can have them, then fair enough, but these are not low FODMAP in any serving size. So what I would suggest is either to remove them entirely or you could put in some butter beans. I would recommend about 120, 100, 120 grams of butter beans if you want to have sort of some beans in there as well. We've started to reintroduce these and I can have a small amount, Mark can have slightly more, so we thought we'd put them in today. Um, I've got a stock cube here. This is actually a ham stock cube, but you could use beef stock cube, whatever you want. Then I've got some garlic infused oil here and then I have got some gluten-free plain flour. So firstly, I chopped my red pepper into chunks and then also my courgette. Then I got a plate and added all my herbs and spices, so oregano, bay leaves, cumin, paprika, and some chili flakes, and put that to one side. Then I put some oil in my pan and added my veg and just cooked that down for a little bit. Then I added the beef to just give it some color, mixed it in, well, mixed the herbs in with that. And then I added my tomato puree and mix it in, as well as some pepper, some flour to help thicken it all. And I added my stock cube, as well as some water at this point, and then a tin of chopped tomatoes, and the kidney beans, mix it all in, add a little bit more water because it just felt like it needed it, put the lid on, turned it on and left it and then we got chilli con carne. It was amazing and probably one of the easiest things you can do in a slow cooker, serve it with rice, potato, whatever you want and it's just the best. Next up is probably my favourite dinner of the week and that is pulled turkey tacos. Here is what you'll need. So obviously we need turkey so I have got a turkey thigh joint, this is a really big one and they're really good value as well, really good value. Um, I have got some garlic oil because I'm going to sear the turkey first. Then I've got some maple syrup, some gluten-free soy sauce. I've got some mixed herbs and I've also got a stock cube. Make sure it is low FODMAP. Honestly, this is so easy. So firstly, just put some oil in your pan, then you take a thigh joint and just seal it so it's nicely coloured and take that off the heat and put it onto your slow cooker. Add some soy sauce and add some maple syrup and then add some herbs and sort of just mix it all around. Oh, add a stock cube as well for some more flavor. Yeah, and then mix it all around. Then add some water and put the lid on and just let it slowly cook. Oh my God, this is so easy to do. And it makes the house smell just like amazing all day. The meat falls off the bone, which I will show you in a second. But firstly, take the turkey thigh joint out of the juices and add a little bit of corn flour because we're gonna make that into like a gravy and then shred the turkey off the bone. Look at it, it's ridiculous. Put it in a bowl. Add a bit of that gravy that we've just made and mix it all around. You can have a bit of chopped chives if you want and a bit more of the gravy as well. And then we can construct our tacos. For me, Mark made my tacos, which is very kind of him. So just putting in a bit of lettuce, a bit of mayo, a bit of the turkey, a bit of avocado. And look at that. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you might wanna check out another video of mine, which is a winter warmers recipe, which you can click up here to check out. And also how to make chips in an air fryer, which you can find up here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.